Next is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 48, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July 30th, 1975, in Dallas, Texas. Omnipotent Yamaraj is as good as Lord Brahma, because although he is situated in his own abode, or being situated in everyone's heart like Paramatma, by his mind he observes the past activities of the living entity, and according to that, by the same mind, he understands how the living entity will act in his future life. Manasaiva Pure Deva Purva Rupam Vipasati Anu Mimang Sati Apurvam Manasa Bhagavanaja. So now the Yamadutas are describing about Yamaraj, who is as good as Brahma. He is entrusted with the uh, magistical power to Jamraj. Not all the living beings are taken to, neither the animals, only the human beings and those who are criminals or sinful. Not all of them. First of all, there are living entities, eight million four hundred thousand forms or species. And so not all of them sinful and subjected to be brought for justice before Jamarat. Just like magistrate, criminal magistrate, he is in every city, the district magistrate, not all the people are brought there, only the criminals. So, uh, he is so powerful that through his mind he can see the past and the future, the Kalam, by mind. And because he is so powerful, he is addressed here as Bhagavan. I have several times explained, Bhagavan means the most powerful, full of opulences. So those who are in charge of departmental affairs within this universal kingdom, they are also sometimes addressed as Bhagavan. Hmm. And Aja, Aja is Brahma. Aja means who does not take birth. So Brahma also did not take birth like ordinary human being. He uh, sprouted like the lotus flower from the abdomen of Mahavishnu. Uh, Garbhod of Sai Vishnu. Therefore he is called Aja or Swayambhu. Swayambhu, personally born, not through the womb of the mother. Brahma was not born through the womb of mother. Uh, therefore he is called Bhagavan Aja. So the mind of Jamaraj, uh, he can see in the previous verse, it is said, Bhattamana Kannayo Kala Gunabhi Gyapako Jatha. Within this material world, we are passing through many evolutionary process and getting different types of body according to the guna, quality, modes of nature we are associating. Uh-huh. So Jamaraj can see 
when a living being, criminal, sinful living being, is brought before him, he can understand through his mind. Uh, just see that everyone's mind is not of the same uh, category. There are different of mind also, according to the position. That we have got experience. Uh, uh, a high court judge's mind and ordinary person's mind are different. Uh, the judges can immediately understand what is the position. Uh, so this is also God gift. Different people have got different power of the mind. Uh, that is also uh, through Krishna. Sarvasya chaham ridishanni vishtya matta smriti jnanam apohanam. So mind means whose uh, memory is very sharp, he is called great-minded. So this greatness of mind and smallness of mind uh, are different according to the dictation of the super-soul. Matta uh, smriti jnanam, one man can remember uh, small things for many years, another man forgets. Immediately he hears and immediately forgets. Why this difference of mental position? It is due to Krishna. Krishna helps one to memorize uh, or to forget. Matta smriti jnana mapuhanam. One can one has, just like in school, some student has got very sharp memory, one sharp from the teacher, he, he never forgets it. So these different stages are due to the association of different modes of material nature. So Jamaraj, when a person is brought before him, he can immediately understand that he was sinful in this way. Manasa, puri riva, or Jamaraj is sitting in his place, but he is seeing everyone what he is doing through the sun, through the moon. Uh, we have already dis discussed through fire through evening, through morning. There are so many witnesses. And all those information goes to him, and because he is almost as powerful as Bhagavan, he can remember. This is special power. Manasaiva pure deva purva rupam because after death one is brought before Jamaraj. So before his death, what he was doing sinfully, that is all recorded in the mind of Jamaraj. Manasaiva Pure Deva Purva Rupam Vipasyati. Because they are so recorded, he can see vividly uh, what this man was doing. Anumimang sati apurbam. Apurbam means the next body. Purbam means the past body. And apurbam the next body. So he immediately decides what kind of body this criminal, this sinful man should be offered. Anumimang sati apurbam. Manasa. That is also by his mind. He is so powerful, therefore he has been addressed as Bhagavan. Anumi Mangsate, just like the judge, he is hearing the case, uh, that is everyone, anyone who is hearing something, uh, so he makes a conclusion, this should be 
done like that. The judgment, there was uh, one story, it is not story, it is fact, that uh, <clears throat> two leaders are talking about the uh, activities of a criminal and uh, the judge uh, was dozing. Uh, so his clerk said, Sir, you are dozing, the two big lawyers they are arguing, and what they will say. That means he won. The judge said, I have already made my judgment, let them go on talking. So actually it is done. A very important judge, he, by hearing the preliminary points of the case, he makes his judgment. Yes. But because the two lawyers want to fight, uh, because they are paid for that, so they are gone fighting, but the judge, he has already concluded what judgment should be given. Similarly, Jamaraj's judge, he has got everything recorded in his mind, of a sinful man's activities in the past, so immediately he decide, decide that this soul should be given such and such body. Uh, <clears throat> so we are getting body uh, in another place in the third canto, I think. It is described, karmana daivanetrena. We are acting in different ways. We are not independent. This is foolishness. Uh, just like an outlaw, he is thinking that he is free from the jurisdiction of state laws and is working irresponsibly. But when he is arrested, then he has no independence. Uh, he has to undergo the punishment. Similarly, in this life, we may think very uh, independent, whatever we like we can do, uh, that is foolishness. Uh, we cannot do that. If you do it uh, willfully, then you will be punished, uh, that they do not know. Uh, punished means by a different body. Uh, if a man Human being is punished to stand up like uh, as a tree for five thousand years. Just imagine how much great punishment it is. Uh, and that is possible. Uh, just like in the Shastra, it is stated that those who uh, want to remain naked, they are punished in the next life to become tree. That you wanted to be naked, now you stand naked. The trees, they do not dress, neither they have the opportunity, nobody goes to dress them. So they stand naked for so many hundreds and thousands of years. This punishment is awaiting. Human being is not supposed to be naked. That is civilization. They must cover. But if one willfully does not cover, uh, becomes as dull as the tree, then he gets the next body as tree. Uh, this is punishment. Otherwise, where from all these living entities are coming? They have no calculation. Uh, they are thinking that I shall remain in this human form of beautiful body and, and opulent. No. Changing. Tathadi hantara prati. You have to change your body uh, according to the decision of superior authority. Daiva netrem. You should always remember it. Therefore, a human being should be very, very cautious and conscious. Uh, they should not do anything irresponsible. And how to work. Uh, with responsibility and how to
to work irresponsibly, therefore Shastra requires. Shastra is books, basic knowledge, books. Why there? So that a human being may take advantage of it and he act responsibly or irresponsibly. If he works irresponsibly, then punishment is awaiting lower grade of life. Uh, so uh, human being uh, should be uh, educated out of, Therefore these children are being educated from the very beginning of their life how to become responsible man. This is the idea of our Gurukul. Uh, so, so these children should be taught. Yesterday Dhyanand was talking with me that while living at Gurukul, uh, they should be uh, very nicely turned up. Uh, uh, <coughs> work. The children, they have no sense what is prestige. You can train them anyway. If you train them to work as a servant, they will work it. Uh, so in Gurukul, they should live just to be trained up how to control the senses. Uh, brahmachari. Brahmachari means uh, life of celibacy. Uh, no sex. That is Brahmacharya, strictly. Uh, Brahma charati iti Brahmacharya. Uh, so ordinary brain or uh, brain with cow dung, they cannot understand the spiritual science. Therefore the Brahmacharya should be trained up how to control the senses. Then they will be able to understand. Uh, the brain will be sad. Uh, in the stop discharging seminar, there are brahmacharis who takes the seminar to the brain. They are called urdhorita. Urdhorita means the brain becomes very, very part uh, Once heard from the spiritual master, teacher, you will remember. Uh, you will never forget. Uh, therefore, uh, formally, there was no written book, uh, Sruti, simply by hearing uh, a Brahmachari would be educated, simply by hearing. There is no need of book writing. Uh, therefore the Vedic literature is known as Sruti. It is to be learned by hearing. Even there is book, still one has to learn it by hearing from the realized soul. That's what is called Sruti. Uh, so this Sruti memorizing power should be increased if one observes strictly the life of celibate. This is the sign. That's what Brahmachari is taught uh, strictly. Uh, the Brahmachari is supposed to remain in Gurukul up to the twenty-fifth year. Uh, he still uh, then a guru uh, uh, finds him that he requires to be married. Then he goes home and is married. Uh, otherwise the teaching is uh, to remain brahmachari throughout the whole life. Uh, there is no need of entering uh, because this human Life is meant for God realization. Uh, it is not meant for sex enjoyment or uh, sense gratification. It is simply meant for. Here is an opportunity to uh, understand one's constitutional position that he is spirit soul. And Krishna as the Supreme Lord is also spirit soul. So the spirit soul individual soul is part and parcel of Krishna, therefore it is his duty to remain with the whole. Just like a mechanical part, a screw in a typewriter machine. If the screw remains with the machine, then it has got value. And if 
the screw remains without the machine, and there is no value. Who cares for a small screw? But when that screw is wanting in a machine, you go to purchase, they will charge five dollars. Uh, why? When it is fixed up with the machine, it has got value. Uh, just, there are so many examples. That's the past of the fire. When the fire is burning, you'll find a small particle of spark, part, part, it is. It is very beautiful. It is very beautiful because it is with the fire. And as soon as the spark falls down out of the fire, then it has no value. Uh, nobody cares for that. Uh, it is finished. Similarly, so long we are with Krishna, being part and parcel of Krishna, we have got value. And as soon as we are out of Krishna touch, then we have no value. Uh, we should understand that. Uh, so how to keep oneself always with Krishna, that is the aim of human life. Uh, and if we do not do that, that is sinful, then we become punishable. Uh, that you are given the chance to understand yourself, Krishna, and your relationship with Krishna. You did not take this chance. Now he is punished, our life will become again, anyway, again in the uh, cycle of birth and death. So we should be very, very careful. Uh, do not think that we are independent and we can do whatever nonsense I like. That is very risky. Uh, do not think that foolishly. Uh, there is a regular uh, there is Jamura, because we are sons of Krishna. Uh, well, Krishna wants that these my sons, rascals, are suffering in this material world. Let them come back home. Uh, therefore, he comes personally. Yada yada hi dhanvasya glani bhavati bharata tadatmanam sujamaham. He deserves that. That these rascals, they are rotting in this material world, birth after birth, let them come back. Uh, because he is more affectionate. Uh, so, and if he does not utilize this human form of life to uh, take the advantage of going back to home, back to God, that is sinful. Then he is punished. So the conclusion is, that everyone should take to this Krishna consciousness moment, otherwise he is awaiting punishment by Jamarat. Thank you very much.